Are these the best flight panels? Bang for buck for DCS? I reckon they might just be, so stick around and find out why. I'll start off by saying that I purchased both of these panels myself through the One Wing store online. I've been using them for a few months now and love them, but there are a few things that need to be addressed. So why did I purchase the One Wing flight panel? Well, if you're anything like me, you found DCS incredibly hard to learn, but equally as addictive. So much in fact that I don't know if I'll ever master the flight sim, but that's half the fun for me anyway. So that leads me on to why I purchased both of these flight panels. I struggle using the keyboard shortcuts, I really do. I was searching for something that would move most of the controls I regularly use in DCS away from the keyboard and onto a switchboard or some type of panel. And as soon as I saw these online, well, you know, they had me. Now, one thing that may put some people off is the website and the fact that you're buying direct from China. But I have to say buying from One Wing it's up there with some of the best online shopping experiences I've had. I got prompt confirmation emails from purchasing and delivery tracking codes pretty quickly. It even arrived within a week. Now I'm based in Australia, so it's not too far to travel, but overall, a great experience. One thing I have to pull them up on is the instructions. I feel like they could have been a bit more clear. I'm not the best at following instructions in general, but wow, I mean, I found this quite difficult. I reckon it took me 45 minutes to get the brackets all screwed up and connected. But once you get it all connected up, it's very easy to mount. Perfect for desk mounting or, you know, I clamped mine to my extrusion cockpit. And onto the build quality. Initially, very impressed. Panels seem to be made out of some sort of alloy. The switches are all pretty high quality. I will stop talking for a second and I'll run through a few of the switches. I'll get the microphone as close as I can give you an idea what it actually sounds like. Yes, you just did see that and we'll cover that soon. I do have two sort of minor niggles, you could call it. Number one, the wing fold switch. The wing fold switch is just a little bit loose. You can easily pull the button off, apply some glue, stick it back on, and it's good to go, so not a big issue there. The second one is the gear lever. Now, it is one of my favorite parts of the takeoff panel. It syncs with the game when using one wing software. It glows red when moved up or down to alert you that you have moved the lever, just like in the real plane. However, after about two months of continuous use, the casing of the lever split in two and dropped off to reveal the little red light. It was easy to snap back together, but it's come apart a further three times. Now, again, I fixed it with some glue and haven't had any issues since. And this, of course, could be an isolated problem to my unit as I haven't heard anyone else say anything about it. But overall, the build quality, you know, it exceeded my expectations. Um, I paid just south of 300 USD for both panels, and I'm extremely happy with that. They are well finished. They have a stunning green backlight. Most of the switches are super high quality. The whole thing's made out of metal. And the gear and hook levers have a real nice clunk when using them. Mounting was pretty quick and easy. There's probably quite a few ways you could mount these. I think most people may mount them to a desk, which, yeah, easy to do. I chose to mount mine to the side of my extrusion cockpit, my FGT Elite cockpit. As I screwed down the clamp pretty tight, I could see a little bit of a bend on the bracket at the back. But when you get them mounted up, they are super sturdy and you know I'm very happy with the way I have them attached to my cockpit. Turning on the panels for the first time you'll be greeted with the most stunning green backlighting. The attention to detail on these panels are great. They look amazing, the backlighting is awesome and configurable if using the one wing software and at this point I'm thinking yeah this is the this is the best money I've spent this year. I continued on and downloaded the One Wing software and got DCS up and running. For some reason, I 
could not get the software to sync with DCS. Um, I had to assign all of the switches manually, but I believe this has been fixed with a software update. And the great thing is, you will see regular software updates here, which just makes me confident that there is some support there. One of the best features here is the design and layout. Now, it may look a little crowded, but I honestly don't have a problem with it. The layout's pretty nice, the placement of the switches mostly makes sense, and it's pretty easy to develop some muscle memory with these panels. I expect VR users will absolutely love them. The two axis controls on the bottom of the takeoff panel have been squeezed in, but to be honest, I'd rather have them there than not. One of the odd things I came across is that the jettison select switch and the jettison button are on different panels. You are going to have to buy both panels if you want to get the most out of them. Other than that, for the way I fly at least, there's more than enough switches, buttons, axes. The layout design is an, an 8 or a 9 out of 10 for me. One of the key things with both of these panels is that they can be configured with other aircraft in DCS or even in another simulator like Microsoft Flight Simulator or X-Plane. The panels just act like another button box. Sure, they're designed for DCS, but many of us play other sims and both of these panels come in quite useful. So overall, I think this is a great piece of kit. It's well built, mostly, and the only two shortcomings can be easily fixed with a little glue and they're really not a big deal. I paid under 300 USD for these and at that price, at least for me, I think it's a great buy. It's increased my immersion in DCS and it's just so satisfying to use. The switches and the levers feel nice, the gear lever lights up red just like it does in the real F-18 and it mounts super solid. There's nothing more I can really ask for in a product like this. Anything that can add another layer of immersion for less than $300 is a winner by me.